Now H96 Max was one of the most powerful TV boxes at one time. Then the brand just kind of faded away. Well, it looks like they're making a comeback. So let me introduce you to the brand new latest H96 Max 2021 full Android TV box. Now this box is priced around $56, uh, depending on which variant you go for. So there are two variants, I have both. So four gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage and eight gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of internal storage. But first of all, the specifications. Well, this box is powered by a new chipset. It's the Rockchip 3566. It's a quad core CPU along with the Mali G52. You've got a choice of four gigs or eight gigs of DDR3 RAM and a choice of 32 gigs or 64 gigs of internal storage. Now you are getting dual band Wi-Fi AC. There is a gigabit LAN with Bluetooth 4.0. This is running full Android version 11, supports HDMI version 2.1, supports 4K HDR at 75 frames per second. It actually says 8K Ultra HD on the front. Now you've got 5.1 surround sound and this comes with a Bluetooth voice remote. So I'll quickly show you what you get standard in the box. So we have a user manual, HDMI cable, power supply, a Bluetooth voice remote powered by two AAA batteries and it also has a shortcut to YouTube and of course the TV box itself. Now the box is made from plastic. You've got this two-tone effect going on, almost giving this a wood-like effect. So H96 Max 8K Ultra HD. We've got a LED light strip on the front. On the side, nothing, there's just ventilation. On the back, you've got a reset hole, power socket, SPDIF, gigabit LAN, HDMI out, USB 3, USB 2. And if we keep going, nothing on the side, just more ventilation. And that brings us back to the front of the box. And this is what the bottom of the box looks like. So powerful specs, Android 11, eight gigs of RAM. I can't wait to see how this one performs. Without any further ado, let's get these hooked up and find out exactly how good they really are. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took only 21 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And here is the home screen for this box. You have a simple but minimalistic design. All the large icons you see are fixed and cannot be changed. But there is a section at the bottom, so hit the plus sign, select your favorite apps, and they will immediately appear in this bottom section. Now, if we head over to the main system settings, go to device preferences and check out the system storage info, you will see that this box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which you have 25 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this box is indeed running full Android version 11. Now let's take a look at the complete system apps. Here are all the apps available on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet, and you do have quite a few to get you started, including the full version of the Google Play Store. First thing I'd like to test is screen mirroring. This box does not have Android Miracast natively, but you do get Air Screen, which is screen mirroring for iOS devices. And I did test this out with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it was quick and easy to connect and it worked very well with minimal lag. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and I'll be doing this with the included Media Center app. So let's begin with the usual high bitrate Jellyfish demo and this is the 160 megabits per second file. And as this is a new chipset, let's go ahead and play the 400 megabit per second file and see how it plays. was 4k video we're moving on to YouTube and you can stream a maximum of 4k on YouTube Kevin Macaulay diagnosed with schizophrenia no. you tell him to come up and say goodnight and get home there's absolutely nothing now you do get Netflix pre-installed and ready to use, but maximum resolution supported is 480p. Same story in Amazon Prime Video, maximum resolution 480p. When I was in the force, you had to do hand-to-hand -hand training all the time. Guy comes at you with the knife, you gotta be ready. All right, so let's move on to the gaming test, beginning with Asphalt 8.
So for you advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level 3. And here is CPU-Z where you can check out the clock speeds. And you can see that we are running the Mali G5 2, And this box is indeed running Android 11 and does not come rooted as standard. And here are the results for the internal disk speeds. We achieved 160 megabytes per second read and 104 megabytes per second write. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we achieved download speeds of 65 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. And our current top broadband speed is between 65 to 67 megabits per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench multi-score of 410. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 91K. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart of 2021, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest TV boxes. So as you can see, the H96 Max has taken position 9 on this chart with an Antutu benchmark score of 91K and with an overall rating of 4 out of 5. So there you have it guys, that was the H96 Max new Rockchip 2021 version. And here are my thoughts. You are getting a pretty decent performance from that Rockchip 3566 chipset. It performs much better than I expected. 4K 60fps, HDR and high bitrate 4K played super smooth from USB. You can stream 4K on YouTube, but unfortunately there are no 4K licensing for Netflix or Amazon Prime Video and this box supports only Widevine Level 3. There is no mirror cast, but screen mirroring for iOS is available and works fine. Wi-Fi and gigabit LAN speeds were top notch. The only real major downfall is the microphone button on the remote control did not work. It actually seems like a dummy button. So there could be no built-in microphone in this remote. And this is the case on both boxes I have. But that being said, the Bluetooth remote itself works very well and is very responsive. So bottom line, this is a new full Android 11 TV box with full Google services included. However, lack of 4K licensing means Netflix in SD quality. But that being said, this box will cost you only around $52, which is actually a bargain for the overall performance you're getting from this box. The performance is nearly on par to the S922X chipset found in the B-Link GT King, which actually costs double in price. So it looks like Rockchip have produced something special with this one, and for the money, it is definitely super bang for your buck. Um, if you need a full Android TV box running Android 11 with all the Google app capabilities, um, then this box is a pretty good streamer, pretty solid streamer with decent Wi-Fi, decent gigabit LAN speeds, um, and an overall decent performance. So it's great for internet TV. It's great for gaming. Gaming performance is also very good. But if you're someone who needs the HD Netflix licensing, then you definitely have to look for something else. And if you've not already done so, do check out my latest charts online at chickstech.com to help you select your ideal TV box and to see how they are all ranked. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.